Welcome to our channel, Stormrider. Imagine a warship that looks less like a traditional Navy destroyer and more like something pulled straight from a science fiction film, sleek, angular, almost ghost-like against the horizon. That's the 2026 USS Zumwalt, designated DDG-1000, one of the most advanced destroyers ever built by the United States Navy. In this video, we're diving into what makes this massive vessel so special. Exploring its cutting-edge technology, unique design choices, and the evolving mission that has shaped the Zumwalt class into a modern maritime powerhouse. Whether you're a naval enthusiast or just someone fascinated by future tech engineering, this ship has something worth your attention. At first glance, the Zumwalt doesn't even look like a warship. Its sharp, slanted surfaces create a futuristic silhouette known as a tumble-home hull a design intended to reduce radar cross-section dramatically. In simple terms, this huge destroyer, over 600 feet long, appears on radar like a much smaller fishing boat. Stealth at this scale is extremely rare, and the Zumwalt was built to operate closer to hostile shores while remaining far harder to detect than conventional destroyers. This stealth-focused architecture works together with its integrated composite deckhouse, where most sensors and antennas are hidden inside smooth structural surfaces instead of exposed masts and towers. The overall impression is not just visually impressive, but functionally advanced, offering a major tactical edge in modern naval engagements where visibility can determine victory. But design is just the beginning. Inside the Zumwalt lies one of its most ambitious features, an integrated power system capable of generating roughly 78 megawatts of electricity, almost enough to power a small town. Unlike traditional destroyers, where engines primarily power propulsion, the Zumwalt's all-electric drive system distributes power across the ship for weapons. Sensors, engines, and potentially future technology, such as railguns or directed energy weapons. This enormous energy capacity makes the Zumwalt class not just a warship for the present, but a platform built to carry technologies that may define naval warfare in the coming decades. When we talk performance, the Zumwalt is no slouch. Its gas turbine engines propel it beyond 30 knots, allowing it to maneuver with surprising agility for a ship of its size. Combined with advanced automation systems, the Zumwalt requires a significantly smaller crew compared to older destroyers. Despite being longer than an Arleigh Burke-class ship, the Zumwalt operates with nearly half the crew, thanks to integrated control systems that blend navigation, engineering, and weapons management into centralized workstations. This doesn't just reduce manpower needs, it changes the internal experience of operating the ship. Many stations resemble high-end command centers with modern interfaces, rather than the older analog-style layouts common in earlier generations. Weapons-wise, the Zumwalt initially sparked interest for its twin advanced gun systems designed for long-range land strikes. However, changes in mission priorities and ammunition costs led the Navy to shift focus. By 2026, the Zumwalt's evolving role emphasizes long-range strike capabilities using advanced missile systems. Its 80 vertical launch cells can carry a mix of Tomahawk cruise missiles, SM series missiles for air and missile defense, and new hypersonic weapon systems under development. This flexibility lets the Zumwalt operate as a multi-mission platform, part surface strike vessel, part missile defense asset, part forward operating stealth platform. The potential integration of hypersonic missiles is especially significant, giving it the ability to engage high-value land or maritime targets at blistering speeds from extreme distances. Sensors and electronic warfare systems further enhance its capabilities. The Zumwalt's radar suite blends volume search, fire control, and horizon tracking into a highly automated system that reduces operator workload and improves reaction speed. Equally important are its electronic warfare technologies. Systems designed to detect, disrupt, and counter enemy communications, radar, or tracking attempts. In modern naval combat, electronic dominance can be as crucial as firepower. With its advanced computing and sensor fusion, the Zumwalt can act as a forward sensor node, feeding targeting data to other Navy assets while staying comparatively hard to find itself. One of the most distinctive advantages of the Zumwalt class 
is its ability to adapt. While the original vision for the ship has evolved over time, the platform's massive internal volume and high power output mean it can support technologies that most existing. Destroyers can't, as directed energy weapons, essentially high energy lasers, move closer to operational reality. The Zumwalt is one of the few ships designed to handle their demanding power requirements without major structural upgrades. Many analysts see the Zumwalt as the closest thing the Navy has to a test bed battleship, a ship intended not only to fight, but also to integrate and validate next generation naval technologies. Inside, the Zumwalt offers a different experience than traditional warships. Crew comforts and workspaces were designed with long missions in mind. Things like quieter engines, reduced vibration, and improved living quarters help reduce fatigue. The interior layout includes open, flexible spaces that can be reconfigured for operations, training, or mission-specific equipment. This isn't just about comfort. It's about maximizing crew efficiency and readiness during extended deployments where operational tempo can be intense. Of course, no system this advanced comes without challenges. The Zumwalt program has faced criticism for its cost, complexity, and shifting mission goals. Its development was ambitious from the start, pushing the boundaries of naval engineering in nearly every category. Building a stealth ship of this scale, integrating an all-electric propulsion system, and designing weapons that didn't yet fully exist, all of these contributed to delays and high construction costs. But by 2026, the platform benefits from years of refinement, testing, and technological maturation. The result is a warship that, while expensive, represents one of the most technologically capable vessels on the planet. What makes the Zumwalt truly fascinating is how different it is from almost every destroyer before it. Instead of simply upgrading older designs, the Navy went all in on a ship built around the future. Stealthier, more powerful, more automated, and ready for emerging weapon systems. It's a bold departure from traditional naval philosophy, one that aims to ensure relevance in an era when threats are becoming faster, more complex, and more unpredictable. If the 20th century destroyers were defined by guns and missiles, the Zumwalt represents what 21st century naval warfare may look like. Smart, efficient, power-rich, and built around advanced electronics and strike capabilities. Whether you admire its bold engineering or question its practicality, the USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 remains one of the most intriguing ships afloat today. It's a combination of next-gen design and heavy firepower, wrapped in a stealthy package that challenges expectations of what a destroyer can be. As a platform built with growth and innovation in mind, the Zumwalt is more than a warship. It's a glimpse into the future of naval strategy and technology, in showing us how tomorrow's conflicts might be fought long before they arrive.